Now, you may just end up quitting sugar after watching this video. I'm just warning you. Don't get mad at me. I'm just the messenger. There are 73 meta-analyses that make up 8,600 different studies on sugar. And the conclusions are a high amount of added sugar, okay, is significantly associated with 45 negative health effects, ranging from diabetes to asthma, depression, stroke, heart attack, gout, hypertension, dementia, cancer, and early death. Other than that, it's totally fine. Now, it's interesting because the World Health Organization allows people to consume up to 12 teaspoons of added sugar, right, before it becomes unhealthy. I've talked to many people who say, well, I don't, I don't need to do the ketogenic diet and go on a low-carb diet because I don't have a weight problem. I usually say, have you ever heard of skinny fat? Chances are, if they're consuming a lot of sugar, they have visceral fat, they have liver fat. They just don't know it yet. But 40% of people of normal weight have metabolic syndrome. That includes high blood glucose, a fatty liver, high cholesterol. And there's another point about obesity I want to make. There's a certain percentage, I think it's 20% of obese people have normal metabolism and they live a long life. And so just because someone's overweight doesn't necessarily mean they're super unhealthy or they're healthy. Uh, there's other factors involved. Now, then you have health authorities that will talk about uh, sugar as being empty calories. In reality, sugar is very toxic. Roughly half of it is fructose, okay? And the other half is glucose. Fructose is very, very toxic to the body. I would venture to say it's as toxic as alcohol. And if you ever think about where alcohol comes from, they usually make it from some type of sugar, right? But if we compare fructose with alcohol, in which problems each one can influence, both fructose and alcohol cause hypertension, myocardial infarction, heart attacks, cause insulin resistance, fatty liver. They both cause pancreatitis. You know, nature has basically made sugar hard to get. Our ancestors would get sugar during harvest season from fruit, right? And even honey has a season to it, and it's hard to get because there's bees. But man has made sugar very easy to get. And you know, you have people who say, well, why doesn't the government regulate sugar just like alcohol, right? Well, that's not going to happen. There's too much money involved with sugar. The sugar lobbyist and the corn lobbyist and the sweet beverage lobbyists are extremely powerful. I mean, the sugar sector accounts for a third of all the donations from U.S. agriculture, while they only make up 2% of the farms. So a lot of the money that goes into lobbying comes from the sugar industry. These lobbyists influence the dietary guidelines, food pyramid, but it's no secret that the U.S. Uh, sugar industry cannot afford negative perceptions of its products. And so it has a really strong purpose of discrediting research that says that sugar could be harmful to human health. So if you think uh, the government's going to help regulate this, it's not going to happen. There's just too much money involved. It's going to have to be you stopping the consumption of sugar, okay? Now, there's many things that you can do to make this transition. There's all sorts of keto-friendly uh, sweets and desserts, like even, for example, Lily's chocolate, okay? This has sugar alcohols, okay? You can do this. You can consume this. Here's one right here. Look at this. One carb, keto, chocolate frosting, all right? That's one. Here's one right here. Better sugar, okay? Sweet leaf. Here's a called Nutrail, no sugar, okay? It's kind of like a little cereal you can consume. So these are things that you can do to make the transition. Here's one, keto candied pecans, right? If you need to do these type of things and get off sugar, go ahead. It'll be easy because they taste very similar to sugar, but they don't have the actual sugar. When you eat sugar, you're supporting the sugar industry. And on top of that, you're destroying your body. Now, if you want to know how to transition off sugar, I have a video just for you. This is the beginner's video on how to do keto. And I put the video up right here. Check it out. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt 
at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide, Major Updates on the Body Types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to the Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever wanna know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, a uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you, within 45 minutes, learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.